Hello guys, today on file we have uh, Newsnet toolbar, uh, mostly widespread in Australia and New Zealand, as I know. And today I will show you manual way of removing it. It's quite simple. Um, and we use some utilities um, to remove it also. Uh, and, uh, as usual, I did a review of uh, anti malware products that can remove uh, these uh, hijacker malware bytes. Found several files, and here I found some Newsnet removal tool from Security Stronghold uh, company, I think. And uh, it found pretty a lot of uh, files and folders, but it is paid tool. Uh, but you can use the results to remove files manually, uh, some leftover files if you need. Uh, but actually there is um, a different way uh, first of all you go to control panel and check if you have a newsnet installed usually it has installer uh, it has blue icon uh, and you just, just click change I don't know why it is not uninstalled but it is change mm, button but it will start uh, the uninstaller uh, for the news.net As you see here is all browsers infected and it has this desktop widget uh, Well in this window we click next and we also want to remove headlines application That I understood this is, it is this widget on the desktop. Uh, it asks us to close all browsers. OK. Let's close all browsers and hit next. First of all, try locating this item control panel. If it is not there, ju then just continue watching the video. I will show you uh, some other ways um, to search for extensions in browsers and to Reset um, browser settings as you see it is running uh, and at the same time we will run a West browser cleanup. I use it often in my videos and let's see what it will locate. Okay, I don't want to remove yet, I will do it later because I just want to do something with browsers. As you see, a web browser cleanup found detected news.net as an um, unwanted extension for browsers and you can uh, remove it and clean up your browser. Oh, here is you need to close all browsers to run a vest properly because it will do something with browsers. Okay, let's start removing and it shows it been removed. Let's check all browsers. As, in, as you see in Google Chrome, we have Newsnet enabled. Uh, due to some reason, the AWS browser cleanup could not remove it, but we have only option to disable it. We also use reset browser settings default values feature in uh, AWS browser cleanup. And after this, I will reboot my computer. Well, I'm back and running AWS Browser Cleanup again. Let's check Google Chrome. I still have news.net. Let's see what's going on with Google Chrome. We go to Settings, Extensions, and as you see, Newsnet is installed. Remove it by clicking on the Recycle Bin icon. Uh, we will fix the settings later because we should start from Internet Explorer. As you see, home page is already changed to default one, which is Bing. We can always remove it in Internet Options here, where is Bing standing. Uh, but for now, I just delete the history because I think it's important if you use Google. If you use Internet Explorer on a regular basis, 
then we will check uh, add-ons and particularly search providers no search provider detected or they removed possibly by avast or by newsnet uninstaller standard uninstaller okay let's go to firefox that's a reset it home page but i want default one let's go to options options general tab and use default home page okay let's check our search engines nothing extra let's restart firefox and one one, one more thing i want to do is um, check uh, my firefox configuration file if it uh, has um, news.net uh, entries let's type in news and here is some tracking entries i want to reset them so i'm sure that news.net will not track me while i'm using my browser okay let's go to google home extensions are clean settings let's go to open new tab and type in or choose Google in the list. Okay, new tab homepage is Google. Okay, and search engines. Here are some extra search engines I don't want AOL and ESC. And Newsnet is not installed as a search engine. Already much better. And sometimes uh, uh, you can see that. Um, some, uh, some hijackers add this entry under the target uh, in icons browser icons on the desktop and maybe on a startup um, icons uh, start menu icons I mean uh, here is a file I will give it a link to in the description uh, it can help this with this issue but if uh, it can can not fix it. Uh, you can fix it manually by removing this website written after the path to the executable of your browsers under the icons. Um, you just right click on the icons and choose properties and remove this entry. In my case it's con8 because it's uh, left from the previous video I made. Okay, and I will search for folders and files, possibly, just uh, by searching on my computer. Also, at the same time, I will run uh, those utilities, small robots, and this remote tool. I made a new scan. And at the same time, while all these utilities are working, I will use regedit to remove possibly some registry keys that uh, belong to news.net that's not essential you already if you do all the steps I've shown you already clean but I just like uh, cleaning up uh, registry from those entries Again, I will give uh, links to this removal tool and more bytes uh, in the description. If you still want to use them, because they actually can find um, lots of leftover items. Okay, and just by searching new.net and register, I can already see and remove several entries. Here is my robots running. I will update it. Okay. Uh, let's type a free. Uh, because this command will, I mean, a free button will search for the next item in the registry. Okay. Here is it, some alphanumeric random key. Uh, just remove it. Search for the next. Okay, and here I think is the start page 
in the Internet Explorer. Uh, just double click on these uh, because you don't want to remove it. Double click on Start Page and it will allow you to edit the entry. Just type Desired Start Page. I'm pretty sure that uh, this will change after reboot uh, because we changed it in uh, the settings already, but maybe not. Okay, or about updated, I will start the scanner. Just to see what we'll, it will find after I removed, I made all this manual removing. Already a lot of files scan, but nothing found. And the removal tool actually found some one uh, minor leftover item. I don't think that's critical to remove or keep it. Uh, but uh, all actually, this tool is have some uh, additional utilities, helpful utilities, just resetting browser settings also. The same as AVS Browser Cleanup have and these tools are free. Thank you.